the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> and then, um, like, a month later, he was on the run for rape. Yeah, he uh, had raped some woman, and then he escaped, and then he was so addicted to jujitsu. the story was that he started training again with a fake name. But he was like this high-level black belt, and there's only that, this, especially back then when this happened, this is like the early 2000s, there's only a certain number of high-level black belts that are running around. Right. So he put on this fake Brazilian name and started training in like the Pacific Northwest. What the fuck? And then, but he's strangling black belts, and everybody's like, what the fuck is, who is this guy? Jesus so people ask, so someone took a picture of him, and they go, that guy's wanted for rape. Oh, shit. Yeah. But I remember talking to him on these THC pills, being like, like some, there's a wiring that's not correct here. Oh, with this. fuck. Yeah. Damn, dog. Yeah. That's a, whoa. Yeah. <sighs> THC pills and yeah, man. they expose things. Yeah, they do, bro. I did mushrooms and it exposed a lot. Ooh. Yeah, yep. Do you do shrooms? Yeah, yeah, yep. I fuck with mushrooms because that's what <laughs> happened with me when I was on mushrooms. I was able to see people's true intentions. Yeah, because being a rapper and shit like that, you know, you'd be having to peel back the layers, layers and layers and mm -hmm. layers. And, and I was trying to peel my own layers back, <laughs> just for my own sure personal. Everyone and is, I right? ended up, yeah, yep. And I ended up being like backstage somewhere, and I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, "I'm around all these people, and like I really see their true intentions." And it was like, "I see what crowd they are," and it was like, I felt like I was separated. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it was like, I was on a boat all the way out here, and they were all on, the, on the, all on an island partying, and I was like, "Damn!" Yeah, I could see what's going on over there, but it was cool. It, it helped, like I do mushrooms. Every now and then. I don't fuck with it all the time. I, I haven't done them in like three years because they help you see shit like that. So it's like for me, I'll take that experience and I'll just live with it. Yeah. I don't need to keep going through it over and over. Like you probably seen that dude and was like, oh shit, now I know people who are rapey <laughs> as soon as I see him. <laughs> well, I knew he was dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like he was a legitimately dangerous person. Like not that's just, insane, bro. Not just a trained killer, but he was dangerous, like the way he thought about things. Woo! That's wild. Yeah, there's people like that out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, 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 you don't know until you experience it, and that was a mild experience compared to most people's bro. encounters. There's a lot of psychos out there. It's fucking crazy motherfuckers, bro. 